Carlos Ramirez, owner of MBS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. So this client brought in a beautiful 2013 Street Glide. The bike was fresh from paint. He had an audio upgrade on the bike, but after he did exhaust on the bike, he could no longer hear the audio at all. So uh, he came in and decided to go with, uh, he was thinking about doing a stage three, decided to do a stage four because he really liked the way the 10 sounded in the bag. What made this build challenging, normally on the 13 and down street glides, we normally do two 800.4s because they fit on top of the radio. Um, you can't power 10s, well not the 10s that we use, on an 800.4, so we had to go with a 1600.1. It was a super tight fit. Uh, I wish that I'd gotten a video of the amp mount in the fairing, but uh, Chris and Kyle wrapped it up before I got a chance to take a video, but it was nicely tucked in the fairing. So we did the 800.4 on top of the radio to power the four mids. Then we did the 1600.1 on the side between the speaker and the radio body and the HKI Mini DSP on the opposite side between the speaker and the radio body. It's a super, super tight fit. Um, not something that I would recommend trying unless you're willing to cut, grind, and massage. We have to take the fairing on and off like 10 times to make sure it's just right. You can't force the fairing in because you will crack the fairing if the amplifier's in the way. But with a little massaging, you can get a 1600.1 or a 1200.2 um, or the new 1000.1 to fit one of those amplifiers plus an 800.4 or uh, you can get it to fit. It's gonna take some doing, but, and then we're not these custom fabricators. We don't like to chop these bikes up. I know somebody's gonna comment on the video, said you got 16 amplifiers in the fairing, and you just cut it. This is with all the factory stuff in place with very minimal, minimal modification and everything securely fastened and mounted. We're able to get a 1600.1 Evo X2 and an 800.4. Came out super nice and neat. I hate that I don't have uh, the video footage of it, but um, on the next one, because now that we know that we've done it on the next one, I will definitely show you and check how good this bike sounds. So we ended up going with uh, Cicada 10s, DB Drive Moto 6 CDs in the fairing, and the Cicada RR3 horn, six mile nine grill plates in the lids. Uh, bike sounds phenomenal. Uh, and a uh, set of Cicada 10s, some nice bag liners. This install looks really good and sounds really good.